Assalamu alaikum guys in this video we will talk about advanced usage of unique and exists validation rules in Laravel so let's start here I have this form request and I am validating email field and if it busts it will return this message here message success right so let's start here I am validating that email will be required and must be email and it must be unique as you know inside users for field email so I have these emails Ahmed at mail.com and Muhammad at mail.com and if I want to try to create a new user with that email that already exists I will receive this error, error message so let's rewrite it using rule class here rule and unique as you can see here it takes to parameter table and the column name you can say users table and the email and as you can see here I have deleted at table or soft deletes for my user and what if I set it to now right save now it's soft deleted and if I try to say here for example user find find or fail or fail user ID number one it will throw 404 as you can see here and here what if we test it again here send request still through this error message that email already exists also I deleted the email here as you can see it's deleted at not null so if you want to skip deleted at or soft deletes we can use this method here called without trashed right now let's test it send request and it's success but you must take care that here we have in our database structure the email must be unique here so you must take care about this point you can drop this uniqueness rule and create new emails for non deleted users right otherwise it will throw my sql error message so let's take it back again to null and also back here to our rule and also you can write some sql here or query using a query builder so we can say where for example id here greater than one back and say again still success right also it, it may contain nested where like query builder where not null where in and any query builder you want to write it will be applied to this unique so here we say it must be unique email and or where here id greater than one and it will work correctly because here the id is one and i try to create the same email here but because of this part it's success what if i delete it it will check all rows send again now it's failed back here and the skip in id greater than one send it success right now let's move to exists we will say here scale id and it will be required and rule again this class by the way guys validation rule under illuminate it must be exists in table scales and id right back to see our skills table here scale active and in active status and also contains soft delete so let's set it to be soft deleted and now let's test it i will say scale id equal to 100 so it's invalid because the max id here is 5 let's try to add one works and here if you noticed i deleted the first skill right here deleted at not null so if you want to skip trashed or soft deleted rows using exists like unique here we can say without trashed so back and check again and it's invalid because it's trashed or soft deleted let's try for id number two I will send it 
it's valid because it exists and none soft deleted. Also, if you want to check and writing a query builder here for that to check, for example, scale also must be active. You can say here where status equal to active. The ID number two, is this status is inactive, so it must throw an error. As you can see, the selected scale ID is invalid. Let's select ID number three. It's not soft deleted and active also. And this time it will work. Send and work is correctly. Also, instead of these scales, we can pass eloquent model class. Scale here and class send again still works and last thing about unique that i forget to mention here let's remove it using ignore so it will be unique for users and email field you can say ignore the id value it will be one so you can validate all rules and ignore id number one back and say it again must be email send again it works also you can pass a model and it will be detected by laravel so for example you can say here user equal to user first and you can directly pass the model here send the same result it's useful for these cases for example if we set here model binding parameter as maybe user right or even we can do it like that now set this user by using host and login using id and i will login as user id number one and we can ignore as us user send again still works even you can pass the id again still works here's some quick tips about unique and exist validation rules in laravel if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos